I am back after I did a couple of tests during the past few days using the Osmo Mobile, a smartphone and a professional microphone. Well, let's see what happened. Ladies and gentlemen, can I please have your attention? I've just been handed an urgent and horrifying news story. And I need all of you to stop what you're doing and listen. Image and sound quality are extremely important when it comes about vlogging. Not only that, but also the power autonomy and the storage capacity. Right after getting the Osmo Mobile, I immediately thought about, you know, fixing those. That's why I got the following. An S8 Video Mic Pro from Rode, phone to mic adapters, mount plate, the original DJI charger, one extra battery, and an external hard drive. Those being said, I should have gone out testing. But wait, I had the first issue. Getting the S8 Fasten balanced the whole device while working with a microphone that requires adapters. So is this fixed? Yes. With an improvised spacer such as this USB adapter. Once you get the Osmo like this and try to add your phone, with the adapters, make sure you slide it a little bit to the left, add this spacer here, get this fasten, and there you go. Problem solved. Okay, out testing. Best way to test the Osmo? Let's play some football. Okay. really good about Stockholm is that it has excellent biking conditions everywhere it's full of bikeways and I mean from where we live here in Bromma which is a very close suburb and I mean to the center is like I don't know 25 30 minutes biking so it's great absolutely fantastic So we've been testing this for the past two hours, more or less, and I can tell that the battery is not even halfway out, so plenty, plenty of battery left. Uh, we're gonna train a little bit more and so far so good. The image seems not to be shaky, so I guess it's a good, good buy. So now with the help of the Osmo base and this tripod right here, we're gonna try to test a little bit of tracking mode. Is that right? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. about 10 meters and now it heads toward the 20 meters and it's still tracking that's phenomenal wow this is really impressive great job Mate thanks a lot and great job DJI the tracking is great I have to say it's amazing I mean you have to use it the good thing about the uh, Osmo Mobile is that it has a trigger and that trigger for instance if you press it twice uh, it takes the camera or the phone into the default center position but if you press it three times actually it switches on the selfie mode and back on the back camera so I think that's a great great feature. 
Okay, so it's mid, mid June right now in Stockholm and it's like about 20 degrees outside. It's a really, really pleasant weather. One small problem that actually I've discovered with the DJI app is that it doesn't support 4K for the Samsung Galaxy S8. Hello. Hi. The thing I like the most about those doors for the bicycle rooms, look at it. It holds it. Back home, guys. And back home with issue number two. This mic here gets interferences. Lots of them. Come on. Wait, let's play that again. Come on. What? How is this even possible? I mean, you get the best mic for the job and it does that. Well, let me tell you this. The reason actually I got this much more expensive mic was because of the other video mic Go had similar issues. And actually there is a guy on YouTube speaking just about that. But was that just an accident? Absolutely not. But one thing I know for sure, I have to figure this out. So is this fixed? Not yet. Issue number three, picture quality. Shooting in full HD at 30 frames per second using the DJI application or even the standard camera application was quite impossible to get a good quality. The picture look either a little bit noisy, either a little bit blurry, either over sharpen in some cases. And I'm gonna try to post another video where I compare a couple of telephones. The S8 may be a good telephone, a good all-around telephone with a good camera, especially for good light, but it may create problems when it comes about shadows. Despite the fact that many of the reviews I've seen are highlighting actually the good camera capacity on handling this. So is this fix? Uh -uh. I'm afraid that I'm gonna have to actually work with more phones having always one that handles one particular footage best than the others. But how about the Osmo Mobile? The stabilization performs great even in tough conditions such as fast walking or even running. So I was really impressed by the way the Osmo Mobile handles that. The tracking mode performs better than I was expecting, sometimes going even for ranges up to 20 meters or even 25 meters. So overall, I was really impressed by the way the app handles that. The trigger is great for vlogging and the joystick is priceless if you get to master it. The time-lapse modes. They are working quite okay. It's just one single problem I haven't figured out is that when you have longer shootings at some point it may be a chance that the, the gimbal loses the balance and the phone falls on one side. Is this fixed? Not yet, so I have to keep testing. One very important aspect is that you need to remind yourself to balance the gimbal every time you go shooting. So if it's the case, you need to balance that once a day or even a couple of times a day if you have a longer period shooting. Now, if you ask me how would I describe with just one single word the experience working with the Osmo Mobile, that would be fantastic. Make sure you subscribe my channel and give me a yay or a boo if you feel like. I'm Gabriel Stan, thanks for watching.